Hey Aries, welcome into Ocean's Tarot Garden. Thank you for the new viewers. Thank you for the returning viewers. I appreciate all my garden babes. We're going to see what Spirit has to give you today. For some reason, I feel like you guys are kind of thinking about your financials, your finances and things like that. Um, I feel like Spirit might talk about <laughs> why you haven't obtained the finances that you've wanted. Kind of like what you need to do okay so we're going to start off here with an affirmative message okay from this deck for my aries all right spirit give us my aries i don't know i'm feeling like some clear blue sky i'm seeing water sunshine radiance our words that are coming to me all right it says reflect on your strength we forget how strong we are until we look back at all we've welcomed you are resilient your growth is forever as i read that i keep hearing the situation is mo monetary the situation is momentary okay it's momentary sometimes you allow motherfuckers allow like i told libras y'all allow inconvenience or you allow the fact that you didn't get something or something didn't happen the way you want to to kind of discourage you and spirit is like don't throw everything that you've done out the fucking window because you ain't get what you wanted okay remember when things don't happen the way you want it to happen aries you thank god okay you thank god because it was setting you up and it was protecting you okay protecting you from whatever something could have it might have seemed like it was a good deal it might have seemed like it was something you wanted but spirit god always knows best for you okay sometimes we think that we know best in our head okay i feel aries you're very i want to say arrogant but i don't feel like that's in a negative way i just feel like you're very arrogant and knowing that you're good enough and that you're and when somebody you feel like somebody doesn't see it or somebody doesn't appreciate that you get upset rather upset and spirit is like don't discredit yourself off of something that didn't work out for you okay um you have connect with others host a movie night or have a slumber party surround yourself with loving energy um the card says what it says but I feel like this is a time for you to start networking. This is a time for you to start putting yourself in places that you desire to be. Okay. If you, okay. Like you got to make it make sense. So say that you want to have your own boutique. You want to basically sell products and things like that. Right. You eventually want a storefront. You eventually want your own your own building or whatever it may be you want to go into positions that allow you to gain that knowledge you can go to school you can take courses you can do all of that but until you have the physical um experience i feel like it doesn't matter you know when you go into a job and you go you do the training all on the computer you read all these pages you like you can see stuff it can make sense but it's not until you actually get into the physical role that things start really just like coming together for you and i feel like that's what spirit is saying so like if you were to want to open a boutique and things like that you would want to work in a store um that sold items that you want to sell so you want to sell clothes you want to go work at a clothing store right so you can kind of get a hint or an idea of how you want to set up your store or you know how they when do they decide to start marking things down or how do you want to compensate your employees like how would you want to be treated or you know like different things like that i know when i worked at um when i was a billing specialist for oil and gas i was like dang they pay good money i like this okay and i you know it was a it wasn't something that i desired to to do but I, at the time, I had a boutique, right? So I I was working at Ross. And then the time at Ross ended, and I ended up going to a building specialist. So I feel like I learned everything that I needed to learn there about clothes, appearance, how to talk to the customers, how to put stuff together. You know what I'm saying? Like what was hot, what was not, what people in the area um, 
desired fashion wise. And then um, when I went into the billing specialist role, I was kind of isolated. I was in a cubicle. But what I learned was I wasn't appreciated at Ross, but I was appreciated or they made me feel like I was appreciated in my billing specialist role. So when I transitioned over there into that position, it's it gave me like the management style and structure that I wanted to do. The like um, people, I got pizza parties at Ross, but at the billing specialist, we got bonuses, which motivated me more. Like I realized like buying me food is cool, but giving me more money is a, um, is a, you know, more motivating. But not only did they give us more money and bonuses, but they also incorporated feeding us at the end of, um, you know, closings of seasons and stuff. When it was, you know, when we reached our, uh, you know, our closing period of getting all the paperwork down and stuff like that, they would have these dinners catered to us. And it wasn't no pizza. Like they had fancy restaurants catered. And I was like, oh, I want to incorporate that. I want my people to feel, you know what I'm saying? appreciate it you know we feed them we give them bonuses opportunity the bonus um they consistently congratulated us on our they didn't tell you know they told us where we could improve but they didn't focus so much on um where we lacked you know what i'm saying like we talked about it how can you improve and then they still rewarded us um, and then it was like a family environment. We celebrated Christmas together. We prayed together. We did things together. We watched games together. Uh, we would be able to leave our desk and go into our big cafeteria and watch the Astros play and things like that. So it's just like you need to place yourself in areas that's going to help you build and place yourself in areas where you're appreciated, where you're rewarded, where you're acknowledged in the sense that you want to be acknowledged. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what Spirit is saying. It's time for you to network. It's time for you. I feel like a lot of you guys have already outgrown where you are and Spirit is saying that it's time for you to learn something new. It's time for you to, to go somewhere else or to do something new. You want to own your own business. Have you already went through all these steps? Okay, so now what? You, you don't know what it takes to get your storefront. You don't, or... You, you have your business, you're working out of home and you want to grow. It's time for you to start putting yourself in places. Start looking up on Eventbrite uh, networking events. Start getting your business cards together. Start going, like even going to people or going to places and asking, can I cater? Like I said, the, the business catered food. What, what can hurt you to go up to a business and say, Hey, I cater this food. I you know I have this type of food. I have Cajun food and my prices start here, 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 but I'm willing to do some kind of deal with you if um you know you decide to book me. I'm just trying to get my name out there and you look like a company who appreciates their their um their employees. So how about, you know, maybe twice a month you come book with me and I can set up and you know you don't have to worry about cleaning up or anything. I will take care of that and that's a that's an income that you know that's going to come every two weeks every month or something like that or once a month or you know maybe you could be like um i don't know like you you got it's like you have to put yourself out there aries is what i'm feeling you also have everything is always working out for you okay everything is always working out for you so spirit is saying that even though the situation may not be ideal for you don't get discouraged okay they're trying to place you in a higher position, but you have to be willing to get out of your shell and and do so. And you have to be willing to accept the no's that may come with it, okay? So I feel like some of you guys, y'all don't take no too well or y'all get discouraged quickly when people don't see your your talent or your gifts or your, your views and things like that. So I do, I do see that, okay? I'm hearing spirits say there's money with growth. Okay, there's money with growth. All right, what do we have here with my Aries? What does spirit want to sell my Aries? No, that's too many cards though. <laughs> too many cards though. All right, let's see what we have with my Aries. What do we got here? Seven of Pentacles. What? I'm looking at this. Um... And I see the seven of pentacles and it's giving me like a, a crossroad, right? 
but I also see it like excelling, accelerating to a higher point. So <laughs> I feel like your spirit is saying like you're at a crossroad. You're at a crossroad point with um, what you do to gain your finances. And it's time for you to move, okay? Um, with this moon card, I just feel like it's time for you to go into a new, a new learning curve, a new learning pattern. It's time for you to go into an unfamiliar place to allow yourself to see something within yourself, okay? When somebody says to reflect on your strengths, that's usually about you recognizing your qualities, your advantages, um, what you can bring to the table and things like that. Like focus on the good things you have. Like I'm smart, I'm intelligent, I'm with the school, I have a degree, I got this, I got that. Um, I can do this, I'm capable of doing this. Um, you know, versus damn, I still don't even know how to how to how to do this, or I still don't even know where to start. But like focus on what you can do though, right? Focus on what you can do and and accelerate yourself by putting yourself in a position where you can learn and you can find those qualities within yourself or create those qualities within yourself with this moon card is what I'm feeling. So it's like with this moon card, it's coming out of the darkness, but I'm also feeling like it's going into the darkness, like coming out of the darkness to go into another darkness. The darkness that you're in now is like a is like a standstill type of darkness. Like you can't move. Um, there's no more guidance there. There's nothing else that you can learn in this position. There, there's nothing that can pour into you. The energy is at a standstill. Seven of Pentacles. Um, like it's no more squeezing of the lemon to get any more juice. So they're telling you it's time to accelerate. It's time to move forward here. Okay, so you're going to take what you've grown, what you've gained. And because uh, usually I'm thinking about the Seven of Pentacles. Is I see a tree that has like the pentacles there and somebody like in the garden. But it's like now it's like you pick the pentacles that are ready. The things that you've learned, you gather that up, you put that in your bag. And then you go on this moon journey where you go on this journey of where you're applying to jobs or you're, you're going to networking events or you're doing whatever it needs to do. If it's door to door, you know, business to business, whatever it may be. And um, because I feel like it's more of an action based energy for you guys right now. You are fire sign. So they're telling you to get active. And I really see like feet like pacing around like doing stuff, like getting active. So it's not just like reading books or watching YouTube videos, which can be fundamental, but they're like, yeah, you need to start getting active. And like I said, more hands-on. So you're taking those pentacles of what you've gathered, what you've learned, the qualities, you know, all of your strengths, and you're going on this journey and you're leaving the, the darkness of stillness and you're going into another darkness that's not really darkness, but there is someone here who is a sun card, who brings in enlightenment, who brings in knowledge, who brings in awareness of things that you might not have known that you were capable of or that you could do, right? So it's just like, like I said, going to business to business and offering your service. And then you're still like, you know what? This isn't so bad. It's either yes or no. And you, you know what? You might realize that there's three or four businesses who may want to take you on. Or, you know, you apply for this job and you like, I have these, but I am willing to learn. And they hire you on and you gain those new skill sets. Like I said, I went from Ross to a billing specialist. I've never been a billing specialist. I personally be like, I don't fucking like numbers. I don't like dealing with numbers. I went from, you know, managing at Ross to becoming a billing specialist and learning how important numbers are or learning, um, you know, the, the work ethic and uh, manager style that I preferred, right? And how to compensate people. So I took those and then I ended up going to the bank. I went to the bank and I started telling people how to take their pentacles and how to, you know, accelerate themselves there. Okay. It, it's just like everything is a journey. Everything is a lesson. So you go, you you know, you go somewhere else and you're, you're gaining more skill sets. You're gaining more knowledge and you're gaining those pentacles to a place where you're networking to get to the position that you want to be in. Some of you guys, it doesn't even have to do with the business. Maybe some of you guys are desiring a home, right? You, you want to have your own house. So the job you're at is okay. It's cool, but you can't get a home with this, with this, you know, money. So boom, you might end up at the bank. So you're get you know you might end up at a job or something where 
they offer some kind of assistance for people to get houses or you might meet people there who are first time homeowners and can assist you. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about networking and putting yourself in places with people. But you may not know that those people are there, but it's it's like you take what you know. It's time to move out and go somewhere new. You get this new job, you get this new opportunity, you get whatever, and then you start conversating, you start building relationships with your coworkers, you start building relationships with uh with strangers and you start realizing like, oh man, they have a lot of knowledge. Let me find out. Oh, you want to be a home buyer? I just purchased my first home. Man, how'd you do it? Man, it was it was tough, but this is what I did. They helped me out. Here's the card. And boom, what do you know? You can have a house in three years. So you have the seven of cups here sitting at the end and spirit is literally saying that the choices that you make, what you put your energy in, the path that you decide to take is what's going to reflect your outcome all right so they're like you have multiple choices you have multiple options um your dreams can can come true you just have to focus on what you what you obtain within yourself and be willing to allow others to pour into you okay you cannot be a know-it-all okay it's like you cannot be a know-it-all you cannot be a person who rejects somebody being above you i know you guys want to be the smartest person in the room you're always right all this other stuff and you want people to recognize what you can do but when people can recognize your strength and tell you how to enhance your strengths or help you recognize strength that you may not have noticed or shine light on areas that you didn't know that you had um or that you were capable of doing you need to allow that into your life if you're in positions or you're in areas of your life where people aren't doing that for you, this is the sign that you need. It's, it's time to move on. You're, you're no longer there, okay? It's like being stranded out in the ocean with nobody to save you, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Money. Y'all do have money coming in. That's, what, that's all y'all want right now. Y'all focused on money, how to get more money, how to gain it, how to, you know, get your profit up, how to... How to bring it in like the lottery ain't it it's all about your all about your direction of who you're connecting with even the it could be people that you're connected to that's blocking or stopping your financial growth here look at this house okay so like i told you somebody somebody here needs to go into real estate because i kept picking up a house but or somebody wants to own a house but it's giving more stability or somebody can work from home and spirit is saying you're in the shadows too much. It's time for you to, you can work from home, but start doing something outside the home or taking your business outside the home or you're a homebody and nobody really sees you. So it's time for you to go outside and start connecting with others and doing different things and having conversations. Cause some of you guys will tell you to go the fuck outside and you'll go the fuck outside and be sitting in a corner with your shades on, eyeballing, why the fuck she got them shoes on? Ooh, look at his socks. Why he got that outfit on? But instead, you're supposed to be communicating with these people, okay? Connecting with these people. And I don't know why, but Aries, I just heard, don't judge a book by its cover, okay? Because there's somebody here that you're not going to expect, but there will be the person to pour into you with a lot of knowledge and be like a mentor. So I feel like you're going, going into a season where you're getting some kind of mentorship, okay? Or you guys could have somebody here um, where you're starting a mentorship program and it's going to bring you in a lot of money, okay, with guidance. You do have the prison card that comes out here. Um, so I definitely feel like they're saying that it's time for you to unleash the multiple gifts that you have inside of you, the multiple talents that you have inside of you, the multiple ideas that you have inside of you. You're a likable person, whether the zodiac people like to believe it or not you're a likable person you have a great energy a great vibe but um i feel like it's time to release that it's time to allow yourself out of your comfort zone okay because the money resides through networking for you guys all right so until next time aries love you don't forget to like comment and subscribe